Mm -hmm. um, uh, you've heard people say, I don't like your personality. Yes. You're so talkative. You know, people usually say that. Uh -huh. Very outgoing. Or someone is so reserved. You're so silent. And, 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 and you wonder why is it that they are calling you all that. Huh? So we want to define what is personality. And we want mm -hmm. to say this. Huh? Personality is the overall quality about you. Everything, Stephanie, about you, your working style mm -hmm. defines your personality, your way of talking, mm -hmm. your way of thinking, your mm -hmm. emotions, everything about you is your personality. Okay. But now, there's a difference between personality and character. While personality is your outside appearance, the mm -hmm. way you walk, the way you talk, when people are watching you. Mm -hmm. That's your personality. But now character mm -hmm. is who you are, what you do when no one is observing. Okay, so that and is so your real self. <laughs> that is your real self. And actually when we are doing marriage counseling, we tell them, you, you, you get married or you're attracted to a personality, mm -hmm. but you live with a character. Well, because <laughs> at, 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 at a while now the honeymoon is over and you go back, the two of you, now the real character comes, comes out. out because so you we, 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 the, the personality was this, you know, the way we were seeing you. And so why should we teach people about personality? Uh -huh. One, if you can't deal with yourself, if you don't understand yourself, if you can't hold and compose yourself, you can't accommodate others. Mm -hmm. So it is, first of all, you know your personality, your strength, because you're going to be looking at the strength mm -hmm. and the, the weakness weaknesses, before yes. you can be able even to address other people. If you can't right. get along with yourself, you can't get along with others. Okay. So very important. That makes a lot of sense. So mm -hmm. now let me ask you, with mm -hmm. that comparison mm -hmm. between personality and character, mm -hmm. why do we then need to know our personality? Mm -hmm. Is it not the character that we need to know? Because you've said personality is the show that we usually give. Mm -hmm. Or can it be, um, for some, is it that the character is still their personality? No, not really. No. Uh -huh. Your character is not your personality. It can your be. No, no, no. Your character is how you behave. You know, there are some two things. I don't know whether you've ever been, uh, when you're growing up and, mm -hmm. and, and, and your parents are not around, sometimes then you're alone. There are some two things that you can do when you're alone, but you can't do when they are there, right? Yes, 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 well, especially when you're a child. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. A typical example is, is uh, think about the, 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 you're fetching water, uh -huh. maybe from the tap, from the dispenser. If no one is observing you, there's the tendency of even drinking even a sufuria, a chag, or anything, because uh -huh. no one is there to judge. Eh? Yeah. So your character is a little bit hidden. Okay. But your personality is loud. It's outspoken. It's something people see. Mm. And that is why you hear people say, so and so is so talkative. Mm. You know, that is something that everyone is able to see. So it is very important mm. that you know your personality. So that you're able to associate, so that you're able to associate with others. Because personality can break or form relationships. Uh -huh. So there are people who are not able to form friendships. They can't form basic relationship with people because of their personality. Mm -hmm. Because again, um, when you go now to our counseling, we tell you that there are some personality disorders. Yes. <laughs> That's a whole wide topic altogether. Mm -hmm. yeah? So when you hear somebody has a malformed personality, it's a personality disorder. And so there are many. Okay. Just, we, we may not get into it, but mm. uh, is a narcissist, N oh, yes, narcissism is a personality disorder. Uh -huh. It's a personality disorder because this person um, uh, uh, gets to be so very much manipulative. Mm -hmm. And maybe sometimes it can be genetic, it can be uh, from the upbringing, parenting, the way mm -hmm. a child is parented. Eh? You mm -hmm. could bring up a narcissist, uh, Stefan, without your knowledge. <laughs> yeah, this person who wants everything done for them and then you praise them. Yeah. <laughs> You're bringing up someone that will be a, a, a thorn in the flesh in the life of another person. A person oh, yeah. yeah. And can, can someone correct this? Is this a personality that can be corrected, especially for adults? Not really. It no can. one should. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, there's, there's, a, there's a day I was having a discussion with someone, uh -huh. and uh, they were really trying to uh, argue out that mm -hmm. you, you can help someone who's, uh, who has a narcissistic tendency or who's mm -hmm. a narcissist. Now, this is what happens when people are getting married, for example, that is the most perfect example. Mm. Um, people hope, especially ladies, all ladies, they hope that men will change. Oh. So you found this person who has their own lot of issues and you, you feel like, um, child of God, they don't change. You are not <laughs> going to change people. Yeah. They will not change. It okay. is you who will change to accommodate them. Yeah. Mm. And again now, again men now on the other end, men think that women won't change. 
the way alikuona kwa kaslenda kazuri nini nini the thing you would change and then you give back to three four babies and you're like so now personality cannot be changed because it's just like your skin Mm. What we can do is that we can modify your personality. That's why self-awareness is important. Okay. So when you're aware that um, I like to manipulate people, I'm aggressive, uh, I'm so much talkative, which is, is a bother to some people, we can modify your personality, but we cannot change, change it. Your oh, you can't change somebody's personality. It's some of it is genetic. Oh, okay. Yeah, some of it is genetically inherited. So how now do you change from your genes? You can't change so you genes. can only try to <laughs> modify what this person has so uh -huh. that it can fit in the society. You realize that I'm always irritated, high aggressive. So you can modify that, but you cannot really, really change. Change is not possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what are these personalities that we're talking about so okay. that people can identify where they lie, what their personality is? Well, uh, one of them, we, we, we want to say that they are, we classify them into two. Mm -hmm. We have what we call the broader perspective of the personality. Those ones are only three. We shall come to them. Mm -hmm. That is the extrovert. We have the introvert. introvert. Then we have the ambivert. Eh? Uh -huh. But now we have what we call the temperament. And so maybe for purposes of today's discussion, we would like to analyze your temperament. Mm -hmm. And even by the end of this lesson, we should be able to analyze and tell us what is your temperament. Yeah? Okay, and, good. and how well do you relate with people outside there? Uh -huh. And what do people like about you? And what are your, 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 your maybe weaknesses? Because for every personality you mention, there is a weakness. Mm -hmm. And no, you will realize that. Perfect. Yeah, and, and that weakness can even bring some mental health. We shall Problems. come and relate that. Uh -huh, okay. So the first uh, temperament we can talk about um, is a lot of people that you can highly identify in the society. Even in this workplace, you will identify them. We call them the choleric. Choleric? Yes, the uh -huh. choleric people. Now, these people are aggressive, mm. hard workers. People, mm. yani, ni wala watu wona, even when everybody else has left for, for, for home, they're still in the and office, the busy cousin. with their laptops until around 10, 10 p.m. And you wonder, are you being paid extra? They're not being paid extra. These guys are workaholic. They can work themselves out because they are go-getters. A go-getter. They believe they have to get this. I, my aim is this. They take life as a project. Mm -hmm. I want to accomplish this by all means. It doesn't matter who will get, who will get hurt. Oh, uh, so I have to weakness. get this. Oh, yes. <laughs> and so these people, one, they're very, very much hardworking, uh -huh. very aggressive. And when I say aggressive, it is in all aspects, mm. <laughs> whether you're at home, whether, wherever. Whether in a relationship set up, in a work set up, they're all aggressive. What about their divorce? <laughs> they believe if a marriage is not working, let's, let's just part ways. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they, they're there, they hate delays. Eh? So these people are very hardworking, they're very aggressive, very go-getters, and they're never discouraged. You cannot discourage a choleric person. In fact, the moment you discourage them, you're giving them recipe for working harder uh -huh, to you prove to you, to you that this is working, this uh -huh. is workable. Yeah. Okay. So those are the choleric people, very hardworking, very aggressive, very optimistic. They are there. They take life as a project. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. these people they have a militant approach. Okay. Militant like one ajeshi, the KDFs. Eh? They order people around. Ah. They order you around. Why are you even here? Why are you even paying you if you can't okay. do I already this? have people in mind, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. These people, they're very, they, bossy. They, 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 yeah, very bossy. Mm. And then they don't delegate. They will not delegate their duties. Okay. They want Why? to do everything They feel they own. want to do everything because if I leave this, no one else can do this the way I can do it. Okay. okay. They, they, they okay. don't feel like they, anyone else in this world. So they consider other people immaterial. Wow. Uh, for them, you are non-essential, inconsequential. Wow. Okay. You don't really <laughs> matter because, and they hate delay. Mm -hmm. and then they, uh, they'll come there and, and pick for themselves. Okay. And even when they are picking, they'll give you a piece of their mind. <laughs> so, so patience is not They so have zero patience. See them in the, uh, during the traffic. Oh, no. well, they think? honk a lot because they are wondering, why are you taking all my time and I'm supposed to be going to work? And, mm. uh, you know, these guys should be allocated, honestly, maybe 26 hours out of the normal 24 hours. Because <laughs> they want to work throughout. Yeah? 24 is never enough for them. Oh, wow. So these people, uh -huh. they don't consider taking rest. They believe 
things have to work. You have to make things, things work. Have to things move. have to move. So they believe in hard work in, and they mm -hmm. are very energetic. Mm -hmm. They have serious energies. Okay. So these are people who are go-getters. They, 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 they believe things have to work. What very, about, very hard working. What about the relationship? You've said that oh. if it doesn't work, there are those people who will just quit it. Now, how, how will you nurture a relationship when you're bossy? <laughs> when all you do is order people around okay. and consider, even when they have that, you've never seen. Imagine if you have a choreric for a mother. They come and it is 5 a.m. in the morning and they're like, Stephanie, you're still sleeping. You're <laughs> ah? <laughs> still <laughs> Why are you still sleeping in bed at such a time? All your other friends are busy Why working busy? and making money. Uh -huh. <laughs> now you, you can even understand your mother's. <laughs> you keep better to your picture, Zuri. You will appreciate your mother more because it's just oh, your personality. They want things done, uh -huh. and most of the time, they want things done their way. Okay. Not your way. Not your way. You might come and start, you know, giving them advice. I told mm -hmm. me I was thinking we can do this and then do this. But finally, it is their way that will win because they already have that in mind. In mind they don't need it. your advice. Okay. They are determined. So those are the, the choleric people. Uh, very hardworking. Well. Nikama wale watu wanaitaka wa kuforce issues. Eh? They force things at deals in Nigeria. Itawaka mwaka wake. We make it or we make it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> those are the choleric people. Uh -huh. Now. The second group of people, um, they are more quiet. We call them the melancholic. Melancholic. Melancholic is uh -huh. the second temperament from choleric. Now, melancholic, mm -hmm. you've had these people we call neat freak. Yes. The perfectionist. The perfectionist. Uh, now, yeah. these are people you who, this? when you have done cleaning the sheets, you don't end up as a there. You iron them. <laughs> They can't spend their bed, or I mean, they, they, they sleep on a bed that is not ironed. Why? Uh -huh. These people are very, very formal, very, extremely formal, mm -hmm. highly organized. Okay. Highly, highly organized, mm -hmm. highly scheduled. If you want to date a melancholic, Where? book them one year earlier. Oh. <laughs> At least nine months earlier. At least you don't just wake up and it's tell them I want us to hang around there and have whatever. No, uh, they, those, these are people who respect their schedule. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing today? Can we? They're not spontaneous. Uh, 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 okay. form na ato a form saizo. Awezi for sababu for them everything has to be organized. Eh? Uh -huh. So these are people who are extremely detailed, and that okay. is a positive thing. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want your wedding, if you want your event. Give it to, to a melancholic. melancholic. They pay attention to details. They know the tent is this color, our thin color is this. They say this color cannot go with this. On door here, they mm. take their time. Okay. Now, those are the positive aspects of a melancholic mm -hmm. that they are actually they are very smart. Clean, smart, they clean their cup and even they place it in a specific place. Okay. No one should tamper with that. Okay. They, they, they lock the office because they cannot have someone come and start tampering with their things. They don't like people coming they and, like and, and mingling with their things. Yeah, they don't like. They are highly, highly organized. Okay. Very smart and creative. Mm -hmm. They are creative, very good thinkers. Now, those are the melancholic. Unfortunately, they are very mean. Oh. Too Downside. mean for this life. <laughs> <laughs> Too mean. These yeah. are guys who know even what their bank balance is. Oh. And, and I'm talking in terms of the two shillings and the two coins, uh. the two cents that are there. You know, if we ask you how much do you have, maybe you know that like a uh, thousand, ten thousand, twenty. But you don't know the specific two hundred Shilling. and two shillings there. Yeah. These guys know because they'll budget to the last to coin. The last, oh. You ask them out. Before I could like out what I could make sure I could daily now budget to spend it. Oh, any person to spend. So they are not overspenders. If you are dating a melancholic, we cannot date. So if you are melancholic, we cannot date. If you are dating a melancholic, so this you better be prepared oh. to face budget. Oh, we cannot live together. They will <laughs> be strict to budget. Very strict. Okay. And they, unfortunately. Uh, another negative aspect about melancholic, by mm. the way, is that they hold grudges for a lifetime. Oh. These are guys who are until 2095 mm. is still reminding you of what you did. Oh my they have not forgiven you. I think, like, you know, it's, it's good that we know this so that you know your partner, Ukijuani melancholic, you know you can't live with them. Definitely. You just know it won't work. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that they have the, the, the good side. If, you, if you're looking for a planner, then this is a person. These are the best people. If you're a bad spender, then you need someone you who's need such a person, budget. Yeah? So now, uh, yeah. another thing about uh, melancholic people, other than being uh, uh, mean, another than being that they hold grudges for a lifetime, they're very choosy. 
Mm. Extremely choosy. And so if it's a girl and he, uh, she's now looking for a marriage partner, she might get late. Because she's choosing, I want, you know those things you tell us, dark, tall, tall handsome. Handsome. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <so laughs> I don't know how, how many <laughs> parts. How many parts? <laughs> Six. No, those things, they only appear or they only um, exist in your mind. <laughs> the people we have outside there, uh -huh. if they meet that qualification, then you will see there's another thing they are missing. So we never have perfect people. Exactly. Now, they are very choosy and therefore so many partners will bypass them oh. because they are choosing. I can miss out on a good husband or a good wife because you're too choosy. <laughs> yeah, you're too choosy because I'm, I'm looking for these. I'm not, now, honestly, married to Mefika Stephanie, mm. we chukua mutu osha <laughs> wacha angare. <laughs> So in my name, oh, tall, dark, what, 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 um, anything, their dream house, their yeah. destination, they might do things but a little bit late okay. because they were busy paying attention to details Detail. and saying this one, mm, pass, this one, mm, pass, this one, mm, pass. No, and fine. so they might, and so another thing is that they might be late. They don't meet deadlines. Mm -hmm. That is one. Because you're too focused on details. You're too focused you're not... on details. And, and, and you miss the game. You miss the fun of it. Eh? Mm. Yeah, so these people are highly formal, highly scheduled, and they're good. But trend carefully when it comes to their relationship. Eh? Okay. Because uh, they will not sit there. You, you, you cannot have, you can't meet a melancholy and you start engaging them in a conversation. They'll be bored. Oh. Like, I was supposed to be in my house cleaning. And, 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 and it, it so cuts she's, across. She's there, but she's... Uh, ah, are you a couple? Like, you know, you exactly. Oh my These goodness. are people who knows where they have kept. If it's a child, for example, uh -huh. if you have a melancholic child, by the time they go to sleep, uh -huh. they know where all their toys are. Well organized. Well, well, well. Well. And they give you caution, don't touch. <laughs> Please, don't touch those things. They are mine. If there is a drawer, they can even lock them. Uh -huh. So those are children. So... It's, it's a good personality either way, mm. only that they maybe they need to work on some aspects there. A few there. things. Yeah. Yeah. I so, love that they, are, they have weaknesses <laughs> and strengths. All oh, of yeah. the personalities. Every personality. Never be lied to anyone that there's any perfect personality. Okay. So the, the first one, one was um, uh, choleric, choleric. Now we've talked about uh, melancholic. Uh -huh. Now the third one. Mm -hmm. the easiest to identify in any marketplace, in any organization, in any workplace, or in any church. Mm -hmm. Is what we call the sanguines. Oh, the easy ones. <laughs> <laughs> the sanguines. Extreme extroverts. Oh my. The sanguines, they are fun loving people. Mm -hmm. That is the first thing. Populist. Mm -hmm. In a normal organization, you go. I don't know whether you guys used to go for games. Eh? Yeah. Because number one, they make friends very, very fast. Very if you go for games and uh, maybe oh, you, your school is wearing green, another one red, purple, whatnot, for a normal person, a normal child, you would tend to keep to your school. Yeah. You know, you, uh, you associate only with your schoolmates. A sanguine. Sama. <laughs> In between red uniform and she is wearing green. <laughs> now, sanguines, they, they, they make friends very fast. Mm -hmm. They are fun-loving people. They will know you within a few minutes, five mi minutes of conversation with a sanguine. They will have told you their name. Two names and their nickname, <laughs> the schools they attended, their parents, their siblings, what they do. their ancestors. They tell you bulk information within a very short time. Uh -huh. Because they're very talkative. Uh -huh. Sanguins ni watu wa nyamazi. Na energy. Never had a dull moment with sanguins. <laughs> you can't get bored. <laughs> sanguins. They update their, 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 their Instagram, their social status every two minutes. Oh, I know so many sanguins. Guys, we in Mombasa. <laughs> we are eating these and then they take a picture and then they show you. Mm -hmm. Guys, now this is us. So these are guys that are very strong in careers or social media management. No, these those are their ones. areas. Those ones are the people who fit there. Mm -hmm. Very, very outgoing. Form friends very fast. They are spenders. Heavy spenders. No, these are the now, why are they spending? <laughs> of uh, melancholy. The opposite. Why are they spending, by the way? Uh -huh. They are spending because. Uh, number one, I did not tell you that their life, everything they do is for a show off. Oh. They have to get the best tablet and the latest in town. So they can show it. Irrespective of whether they can afford it no. or it is on, 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 on some borrowed terms, they don't care. Oh. They have to drive the latest machine. 
whether they can afford it or whether they'll go their own way. Okay. And no. most low men do most low men toilets. <laughs> 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 We don't want to accuse anyone unless we are accused. But one thing I know is that, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, there are some society communities that you find more sanguines <laughs> than the others. Eh? Okay, but right. even in those communities, there are these other personalities. Eh? Of course, yes. But let me tell you that a, a sanguine, uh, in terms of discipline, they are indisciplined. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> tell very, us about it. very indisciplined. One, they never keep time. How will you keep time? And by the time you're passing by, you're saying hi to everyone. Hi! They're talking and they're talking and they're talking, so they never keep time. Okay. But one thing is, they're escapist. They know how to maneuver their way around. Mm -hmm. So you are the boss, I'm the sanguine, and I'm coming and I'm late. There's nothing you'll do because I'll start by, first of all, mm -hmm. I will, you know, brainwash. You know, say, Hi, Stephanie. How was your weekend? I love you, Yarin. <laughs> See how lovely you look. <laughs> how they they will late. come and shower you with all manner of things. Sometimes they can't even bring you a gift. Oh, oh we went to Israel and I brought you these. Mm. Now, picture these. You have a gift from me. Huh? Where, do Where, Where do you get the energy? Where do you get the audacity <laughs> to, to ask me about what I'm late? Yes. Are you seeing that? Smart so, guys. Yeah, very, very. They, they, they escape. It. They, even when they are found cheating, because most oh. of them cheat. Ah, I find it more apart. I come very happy for personality in the work. Every character developers. Because uh, they are very outgoing. Eh? Yeah. One of the things we notice is they, are, they get bored very fast. Very, very uh, fast. Uh -huh. They get bored. They are they, doing this. Nini, wana chana na They are doing this, so they never finish their project because of getting bored very fast. Uh -huh. So these people can be cheaters. Okay. And so when they are there cheating, and you find them, they, they will just watapuruka. You will end up apologizing. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Either. I'm sorry. Because these people, <laughs> you should see they are divorced. The sweet talk as well. Uh, yeah, they, they sweet talk you until you feel like you're the one in the wrong. Mm. You end up saying, oh, Baba Boy, I didn't really mean that. I'm sorry. <laughs> But the, the <laughs> who am I going to marry? Oh, this personality is not gonna she die. Just Don't be choosy. <laughs> Don't be choosy. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. one of the things we realize about these people, one, they, they value relationships, they value friendships, and because of that, they create more friends. Oh. They like fun. They don't like dull moments. Even okay. when people are sad, in a room people are mourning, <laughs> a sanguine comes in, they must look for a way of making the Change. whole thing very lively. Oh. They will come up with a key statement that will make them realize that Love. even de death is not the final it's thing. It's not a serious. Eh? It's not a serious <laughs> thing. It's not that serious. Uh -huh. So th we have said that they are overspenders and they can cheat a lot. And uh, we have also said that these people, this particular group of people, in terms of parenting, they are not the best. Oh. <laughs> they, they are not the best. Why? They are permissive parenting. They are no, not even permissive. They are uninvolved. Oh, hands off. They, they are the hands off because me nilienda kupati. Nilienda wapi. I came back uh -huh. and, and I'm on my gadget and I'm posting and I'm, you know, on social media. Uh -huh. What time did I have with this child? You sit with the child. Are you seeing that? Work, yeah. So they are not very much involved. Choleric, the ones we started, very hardworking people, the authoritarian parents, oh. they give orders. I want you to do this and this and don't ask why, why? because I said so. Why? <laughs> so those ones, those ones. So okay. now the, the, the sanguines, we have said that in terms of parenting, they are not really the best, but every personality has a good bit and, and the bad, bad bit. Bits. So these people are full of energy. Mm -hmm. These people, so if you're looking for an MC, sanguine go for a sanguine mm. because a sanguine will be there well, jumping sure with the old energetic. people before you know it they're jumping with the young ones before you know it you know they're all over and they're very very excited mm -hmm. so those are the sanguines okay. so i'm sure you've identified them yes <laughs> I've, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of people that i know where they fall in the shower categories i'm just going to tell them you are a sanguine <laughs> you are polite <laughs> on a monday morning <laughs> the sanguines will come and they are narrating the whole weekend they make you feel like you people didn't have a weekend <laughs> 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 what have you been doing in your life? Because they have <laughs> and stories and stories to narrate where they went for a road drive, for uh -huh. a walk, for their parties. And, 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 and the melancholic was just in the house, just, just placing chilling. the flowers in the right place, mm. the plates, cleaning the carpet, <laughs> cleaning the TV and everything. Uh -huh. They were busy taking care of the house. 
these ones are outside their parting. Mm -hmm. I think that's why it's important to know your personality so that you're not pressured by others. Because oh, someone yes. will tell you how they've done uh, road tours, <laughs> you know, road trips and all that. But you are you actually just at your home chilling and that was good for you until mm -hmm. you hear the story and then you think that you're not. Your you life feel is like not you're as music. Good. No, 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 no. You're, you're actually not. fine. Yeah, right? very fine. Mm -hmm. So the four temperaments mm -hmm. that we have is a group that we call the phlegmatic. Phlegmatic. Phlegmatic people. Mm -hmm. Now those ones you will identify them because number one, they are very quiet, mm -hmm. very calm, <coughs> reserved. Mm -hmm. Reserved in the sense that they don't like drama. Mm -hmm. They hate embarrassment. These people, they don't like being noticed. If, if, if we're in a meeting, if we're in a, in a, in a, in a, in a social gathering and, 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 and a sanguine mm -hmm. comes in, Everybody must, must notice Amengia. From the Either thing. they are coming with very loud calls, or they are wearing some very shoes that will Heels. make noise all over, or they are wearing some very shouting colors. Uh -huh. <laughs> they have to look for ways of people to know them. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Something, something Lazima. Uh -huh. and, 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 and politicians, most of them, they, they are there. They fall in this category. They fall in that category, uh -huh. yeah? Now but, we understand them. Mm -hmm. But now, the phlegmatic, they want to be very quiet. They will want to come to that meeting. Namusiju and Mifika. They'll sit at the very back. The very back. Not unless you acknowledge them, they are comfortable there. Mm -hmm. They are very quiet, very deserved. Unfortunately, they are lazy. Oh. They are very lazy. Makosa. <laughs> they don't like taking initiative mm -hmm. at all, at all. And they are very hesitant to help. Kukusa idea. Oh, they will How attacky. Mm -hmm. Any, these guys mind their business and their circle only. <laughs> I almost thought I fell here, but okay. Honestly, I don't, I don't <laughs> no, 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 no. Everyone, I, I'll come to tell you that um, now when you come to the broader perspective, uh -huh. you could pick some, 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 some beats from, uh, yeah, some qualities difference. from every uh, okay. temperament we are talking about. Makes eh? sense. Yeah, yeah. because uh, now the phlegmatic people they are quiet, and even when you quarrel them, mm. they will never fight. They don't quarrel back. Mm. They don't fight back. They just they are quiet. Mpaka unashindo sa wira muuliza nini? You try quarreling with a sanguine. <laughs> try quarreling with a sanguine. You, you fight. will fight <laughs> they, because they are full of energy. They are full of mouth. They will attack you with their energy and with their mouth. The mouth yes. you know, uh, a sanguine will not want. I mean, a, a, a phlegmatic, phlegmatic will not want drama. Mm -hmm. So they will be quiet. They will be reserved. How to attack is of mambo mingi. Are you saying that? Okay. Eh? Okay. So. Phlegmatic people, they are rigid, very rigid. Mm -hmm. Rigid to change, they don't want. If we, I get married to you, and we come, this is our house, and we place our three seat here, one seat, one seat, fridge, what, what. The way we have arranged that house in that. 2024, we might find it that way in 2094. <laughs> if they'll be alive. Well, that is very serious. <laughs> they, they are very rigid. See why I want to take initiative. No, 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 they are not. They, do, they, are not. they, do, they are not even risk takers. Okay. They don't take risk. But one good thing about them is they nurture friendship. They value. Oh. No, no, they, you know, these are the people who will come and ask you, oh, uh, in a very quiet manner, Stephanie, you, you don't look fine. Is everything okay? Mm. And then they say, oh, I, I'm, I'm not feeling, really, oh, sorry, can I get you some lemon water? Mm. And then they go, so they That's nurture friendship. Uh -huh. And that makes them very good leaders. Leaders? Oh, okay. yes. Leadership is not all about being mouth, uh -huh. mouthy, mouthology. <laughs> There's nothing like that. Mm. Leadership has everything to do with how you go to nurture friendship. If, if, if somebody comes in the morning and they, they don't look fine, are you able to reach out to them and ask them, How, are you well? Is everything okay? Can I offer any help? No, people treasure that. Mm. And so they make very good leaders. Leaders, okay. Yeah, and I know one of our um, former president, he's, he's already passed on. He was one of them. One of them. He was one of them. Uh, so you mm. could tell he's a phlegmatic. Eh? See what we mm. but not mm. okay. But now, <laughs> when you come to these other people, they will be there, you know, jumpy and yeah. all over and everything all over there. Yeah? What about the relationship of a phlegmatic? How are they in a relationship set up? Um, remember the, the nurture friendship, eh? so they are quiet. Eh? And uh, even, even if the relationship doesn't work and it, it gets to a point that you need to break, to mm. break up, eh? they divorce quietly. 
They, they, they don't want that drama. Si wale watu mnakosana alafu wanakuanika kesho kwa social media. Hey, guys, I decided to do this and this. Those are sandwiches. Uh -huh. Sandwiches divorce publicly. <laughs> After calling you all names of domestic and wild animals, they divorce. <laughs> with a lot of fight and quarrels and drama. Oh, uh, These ones divorce very quietly. Peacefully. Very peacefully. Hawataki mambo mingi. Hawataki yete yu ishu ijulikane. Mm -hmm. Watakuacha and you move on as they move on. Okay. So those are phlegmatic. They're very peaceable people. But okay. they can be judgmental. Mm -hmm. they, they feel they are holier than the others. Thou. <laughs> holier than thou. 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 Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like every other person around me is a sinner except me. <laughs> <laughs> so they can be judgmental. Okay. Yeah, so those are the four main temperaments. Mm -hmm. So now you've said um, that someone can, looking at the broader perspective, yeah. or, or before you even get to that, mm -hmm. still in relationships because... We, you know, we are human beings. We rely a lot on relationship, both on friendship and even for marriage yeah. uh, kind of relationship. So mm -hmm. which personalities uh, usually mm. connect well with each other? <laughs> Thank you. I knew you would ask that. Yes. Eh? <laughs> now, I want you to picture these. You're actually going to choose for yourself. Picture these. Mm. Aquareric, <laughs> bossy, giving orders around and feeling like nobody is doing things well. Marrying another choleric. What will happen? Mm hmm it's, you can't stay in the same oh, house. There will be drama, fire. A lot of fight. Mm -hmm. Those guys will fight. They better build their house next to a police station mm -hmm. because they'll forever be fighting. <laughs> oh, you want to attack a he? You want to b build this brand. You want to build... Who will hear who, yeah? Picture this. Uh, a sanguine married to another sanguine. What would happen? Outgoing on social media, no everything. You, are, other, no you jump, I jump. You talk, I talk. Who will hear who? No one. So, therefore, they're going to form a very chaotic marriage. Mm -hmm. Very, very chaotic. Picture a melancholic who is very orderly and another melancholic, boring. Very boring. The house Mi nataka he, na wewe unataka he, mi nataka this gray color, and, 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 and I, I, I want a touch of this. No going. Quite. What about a phlegmatic and another phlegmatic? Oh. They'll never take initiative in life. Oh, things will never move. They, in that they house. don't take risk. <laughs> they don't like drama. They don't like change, so they'll never take initiative. Uh -huh. But now, if you want to balance these people, so if you're there and you're getting married, mm -hmm. and you have now learned about personality, I want, I want to believe a choleric will work very well with a phlegmatic. Because one is very hardworking. One is very hardworking and, and taking all the risk. <laughs> the other this one, one is, so is comfortable quiet. And this one is bossy. This one take instructions. Uh -huh. So that marriage now they work. are able to... They, they, you're balancing. This balance. one is giving a lot of orders and, 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 you know, giving a lot of instructions and taking a lot of risk and very hardworking. This other character here is not as hardworking as this one. And so when they come, you can balance. Okay. Who you can after mtu atamskiriza. And this one is very good at listening. By the way, if you are phlegmatic, they're very good listeners. Uh, oh yeah, they'll sit and listen to your problems. So counselors fall here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's <in> your <laughs> But yeah. they have several qualities of a phlegmatic, quite a number. Ah, not all, because I'm not lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly I, not. Yeah. So uh, that is, that is, that is a, a, a choleric will do better with a phlegmatic. Eh? Mm -hmm. Then a sanguine, oh heavy spender, melancholic, does not spend, stick yeah. to the budget. So, so this two those will two people really will merge. Yes. The, will. Because you, you will be balancing. While, picture this. A sanguine, we say they are indisciplined. That is one of the negative aspects. Eh? So, akifika kwa mlangu ashatua, viyatu ashatua, socks amesha, amerusha, doesn't even know where the socks are. Now a melancholic. What about a melancholic? And arranges Lights them. Lights order. Puts, comes puts and looks together. at the shoes and is like, oh my goodness. No, who could this be? Takes them, you know, mm -hmm. anapanguza, anaspray, anaziweka kwa shurak. Are you seeing that? Mm -hmm. So, but, but is, is it also not a recipe of conflict? Because for marriages, they say, I'm an Ichosha, this guy, you know, I, I always try to tell him to put things this way, they uh, don't put it that way. Uh -huh. So is this not a recipe of conflict? Okay, the, the, in the, uh, when we come to marriage, we say there's that stage, after you're done with the honeymoon stage, eh? <laughs> now you come to this other stage where now you're settling. Eh? The settling stage is where you're proper. 
you fight you quarrel you until your energy is drained mnaka jongo wawili wamepigana wamechoka wameangaliana hivi so mnakubaliana so finally mnakubaliana <laughs> you, you fight and fight and quarrel and quarrel why did you put this cup here why did you leave this water running why didn't you switch the lights off why didn't you make the bed this way why mm. didn't you cook this way you quarrel fight and you realize that you have no energy for that okay. and finally you settle so when you guys are finally there acceptance stage you have a Mekubali, nothing surprises you. Just, so this is my husband. You find the shoes there, you just... Uyu achana nae, tusha mzoya. Pick them and you put them where they're supposed to be. Okay, so mm. it's true that opposites actually attract. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it because does. I think it will only be boring if you have the same personality with the uh, person that you are. No, the same, the same weaknesses. Yeah. Th there's nothing Inter interesting idea, about no. that. Yeah, okay. sure. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And now, because now we're pressed for time, I, mm -hmm. I want you to tell us the connection between... Mm -hmm. Uh, your personality mm -hmm. and your mental well-being. Oh, thank you. And uh, I, I, I did not tell you that um, these personalities, there the, is the, the broader perspective. Remember, uh, remind mm -hmm. me about that. Yeah. Okay. Because now there's a group that we call the extrovert and there's another group we call the introvert. introvert. And, and then ambivert. we have the, the ambivert. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So now, connection to mental health or even to normal health um, or overall health. Mm -hmm. eh? Picture a choleric huyu ni mtu amejiwekea pressure to perform you know the go getters things must work or they must work now what will happen to that person they pressure their self mm -hmm. they they they, they wanakosana na watu sana so what are some of the likely diseases that they might get one of the likely diseases they might get is blood pressure that high blood pressure mm -hmm. yeah another thing that these guys are likely to get is what you call cardiovascular diseases Mm -hmm. Most of them, most of the choreric, by the way, Oy. the heart, <laughs> what a funny heart, what a they are heart attack. Too hard. They are working too hard, they are not relaxing. <laughs> Even when the project does not seem to work, they are forcing mm -hmm. it to work. Even when they don't seem to have enough resources to have what enough manpower, they will want to be the manpower themselves. Mm -hmm. So they force themselves, they push themselves to the extremes. So these people end up having cardiovascular diseases, they end up having high blood pressure, they end up they could even end up being depressed. Why? One of their characters is being irritable. Wanakasirika haraka. Kwa nini ya mujafanya ina ina hii? And I said, why have you not done? Are you seeing that? Uh -huh. That in itself is rising aggression in them. Okay. So for how long can you manage that? So you might be doing well in your 30s, in your 40s. Get to 50, get to 60, realize it was wearing you out. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you're killing most of your body cells. So they end up having either cardiovascular diseases, high blood pressure, um, some depression. Okay. Those are choleric. Choleric, uh-huh. Let's talk about people like phlegmatic. Mm -hmm. A phlegmatic I told you is a quiet person. A phlegmatic does not like drama. Even when you're fighting and she has the right, she will allow you to win. Mm -hmm. So you could end up intimidating her, intimidating her, putting her down. And, and she doesn't mind because finally there is peace. For them the end goal peace is. is peace. There is peace, and it doesn't matter who won or who didn't. There is peace. So, how a jari yata kushuka, but then they are very good. They make very good wife materials. Because <laughs> 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 wife materials, they, yeah, they, 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 they make very good wife materials because the, 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 the idea of submission is with them. Aye, it is they, very the Bible well says, wives submit. Eh? Okay. The idea of submission, they have it. Eh? Men, now you know. <laughs> Men, now you know. <laughs> Don't go marrying that because of only that. You'll be surprised because there's another aspect that maybe you wouldn't wish. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, we tell people, uh, if there's an aspect you cannot withstand while dating, then don't, don't marry. Don't go ahead. It means you cannot withstand it in marriage. Mm -hmm. it, it means that will be the source of your trouble even when you're inside this marriage. Eh? Okay. So date with your eyes open. Mm -hmm. So these, these, these people, we are saying that um, they can be intimidated. So what are you doing to their self-esteem? You are lowering down their self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So these people will not take initiative. Ati, mwende kwa mkutano, nani ya taombesha? You won't see a phlegmatic. Because they have taken that submissive role. Wao ni wakuongozwa, wao si wakuongozwa. Are you seeing that? So, in terms of mental health, these guys are loners. They can be very lonely. 
Okay. And when they are very lonely, what are some of the diseases that comes with loneliness? Depression. The, 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 some to stress levels, some to anxiety Just levels. Just the self-esteem. So, yeah, self-esteem. So these people, those are some of the things that in long run you could observe, especially anxiety. Mm. They have high levels of anxiety. You know what is anxiety? That kind of feeling you feel like something bad is going to happen to me. Eh? You don't know what's eh? going to happen. You, you, you're not, you are anxious. Your stomach may just imagine a butterfly. Mm. You're not very sure of how to handle the next minute. Eh? That one is common with the phlegmatic. Okay. Because they are, they, they are used to... What do you want to submit to <laughs> with a sanguine? <laughs> Let me tell you the, 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 the problem with a sanguine. Mm -hmm. In terms of mental health, in terms of the overall health, a sanguine is a risk taker. Because they're indisciplined, mm -hmm. what is likely to happen to them? <laughs> they will make irrational decisions. Uh -huh. So these are people who will in, uh, maybe indulge in alcoholism. Mm -hmm. What does alcoholism end goal is? You either very depressed because alcohol, we say, when you take it in small amount, becomes a stimulant. Yeah. But in huge amount, it becomes a depressant. Addiction. So mm -hmm. you, you become not depressed. Eh? There's nothing fun about it. So that one is a depressant. Eh? Mm -hmm. So for this person who has taken alcohol and taken alcohol and taken alcohol, you could end up into some depression, mm -hmm. some form of depression. Yeah. Okay. And when you're not doing well as you would want, you know, outside there, you want people to recognize you and they are not, you could end up into some form of de depression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing, picture these people, they, 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 they come up with irrational decisions. I told you they can be cheaters. Eh? Mm. Okay, no one should lie to you. All personalities can cheat. All personalities can cheat. Most likely. Eh? But most likely, highly likely ni <laughs> these ones who are very, very outgoing. Eh? Yeah. Because phlegmatic, atashindo atakuanzia aji. Hana language ya kukuanzia. Koredif, can cheat but ako busy. Ako <laughs> very busy minding his goals. Uh -huh. Melancholic, atakupangia the whole year, the, the other year. So you know, they cheat but as I'm going, mume kutana hapa kwa pati yu, jioni yu, 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 they can be more, they are more likely to cheat. Eh? Mm -hmm. So what happens, they indulge, <coughs> sorry, in what you call unprotected sex. Mm -hmm. And so you now know the problems that comes in okay. that. Yeah? Yeah, so yeah. these people it, can end up, because of their, of, their, of their personality, they would find themselves treating themselves, the STDs, and all those no, manner well, of diseases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that. Okay. Eh? In terms okay. of um, melancholic, you who want things done your way. The perfectionist. The perfectionist. Mm -hmm. You who will pay... 120 hours working on one project. <laughs> you're not seeing the end goal, but you're still forcing Mbaka uh -huh. You're there paying detail to everything. What about when they don't work? You who is holding grudges for a lifetime. Oh. Uh, uh, 2009. Mm -hmm. And now we're in 2099. Oh, wow. And you're also holding the same grudge. What is it doing to the you? Resentment, the heart. Uh, exactly. What is it doing to do? So these guys can also end up into some form of stress and a depression. Mm -hmm. Unable to deal with their own issues. That is in the long run. Mm -hmm. So that is some of the implication of your personality on your health. Okay. Even your choice of diet. I mean, these personalities, they range everywhere. Mm -hmm. A choleric will choose this meal. A melancholic will be very strict to balanced diet. Uh -huh. A sanguine so will healthier. eat anything that appears the way as long as it is making them feel good. A phlegmatic will be too lazy to cook all those things so we'll cook what is <laughs> available for very them. fast <laughs> yeah, exactly so they don't go out of their way to try and use recipes those ears are phlegmatic ah, they, they don't have much energy. time <laughs> I don't have your energy. That one is for okay. a melancholic uh -huh. who will sit and decide today we are baking a cake, we are going to do this and this and this. But not these others. Yeah, mm, nah, they don't, don't have happen. time. Mm. Makes a lot of sense. Not now sure. now we understand. Now it's good that when you know your personality, mm -hmm. then you're able to understand yourself better yeah. and you're able to relate with people better sure. and know the people you're relating to. Mm -hmm. So it makes life a bit easier. Oh, yeah. As we finish on this, mm -hmm. tell us about now the broad ones, mm -hmm. uh, the three broad ones. <coughs> sure. Mm -hmm. We say that uh, after the, uh, talking about these temperaments, eh, we now classify these people into either extroverts. Mm -hmm. Extroverts <coughs> are outgoing people, very outgoing. And so where do we classify these outgoing people? The first one is sanguine, is an extrovert. A choleric is an extrovert. They are very outgoing outside. They are working very hard, honking mm -hmm. and doing all manner of things. I don't know if a sanguine meets a police officer in the traffic and he was in the wrong. <laughs> They get away with everything. Yeah? So these ones are 
the, 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 the extrovert, eh? very, very outgoing, full of energy and passion, mm -hmm. passionate about what they do. Now, the second group is what we call the, 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 the introverts. introverts. Now, Here an introverted like person yeah. is mm -hmm. a melancholic. Mm -hmm. So, cleaning, putting the flower vases, the TV, the what. So, that is a melancholic and a phlegmatic. Quiet, no drama, no nothing, calm and peaceful. Those ones are introverts. Mm -hmm. And in terms of careers, teachers, politicians, preachers Some would win. make very good <laughs> extroverts. <laughs> yeah? uh -huh. In terms of careers, engineers, lab technicians, Data IT analysts. guys, uh -huh. they make very good introverts. They, 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 they the introverts, they make very good those people. Because picture yourself, you're a lab technician. Who are you talking to? The, the chemicals, the reagents, the, all and those things around you. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. And they are okay that way. They are okay that way. Mm -hmm. But how dare you put a politician alone? How? They will eh, not. How? Because they, they, be they need to be talking to people outside there. Are you seeing that? Light so lawyers, <laughs> they're they are sanguines and they the they extrovert, yeah? Uh -huh. Now, after knowing that, we have this group we call the ambiverts. ambiverts. Now, this? ambiverts is a combination of introvert and extrovert. So they pick some, uh, some, some aspect from the extrovert Decide. and they also pick some aspects from the introvert. We call them the ambiverts. And most people fall here. I think, uh, yes, I am an ambivert. Yeah. <laughs> there are some people who are very jumpy, joy, <laughs> lovely, outgoing in the morning, find them in the afternoon, they are quiet. They, they, uh, they are that story. Yeah. They, 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 they are there. So you could pick some qualities from the extrovert, you could pick some others from the mm -hmm. introvert, and you could pick, and then you become now an ambivert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the broad perspective. Wow, mm -hmm. wonderful. <laughs> this, was, uh, this was quite insightful. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I'm just trying to figure out mm -hmm. where I lie uh -huh. on that four temperaments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to say where I think I lie. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking a lot from Are you from the bossy type? Uh, Are you <laughs> the very scheduled type? You want your sheets white and ironed? Um, I, I know I'm not a melancholic, but that, eh? that is for sure. Are you sanguine? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm yeah. not a sanguine mm -hmm. either. You're very jumpy. I'm not too jumpy. Uh -huh. I think I'm a bit of choleric and phlegmatic. And phlegmatic. Uh, yeah, I think those are my, <laughs> those are my yeah, areas. Yeah, so now you know when you're looking for a marriage partner, where to venture your efforts in. Because yes. again, if, <laughs> if you <laughs> fall here and you mingle there, you know yeah. what it means. Yes, yeah. it's, it's very clear. Mm. So thank you very much. You for welcome, for that. Stephanie. Uh, you know, do, do you have anything that you want to, uh, to, to leave with the viewers mm -hmm. as your parting shot, mm -hmm. as you also give them your social media handles? Oh, yeah. So uh, thank you very much. We started by saying that if you can't deal with yourself, if you can't get along with yourself, you cannot get along with others. Mm -hmm. So get to know your personalities, even when you're dating, you who, who is dating outside there, know your personality. And so that you're able to accommodate the other person. And you who is in a marriage setup, now know that you are this, and your husband or your wife is this, so that you're able to make the necessary changes. Namukikutana muna kwaruzana sana. Always see a counselor. We do counseling. And um, uh, part of my social media handles, uh, on Facebook, I'm Zipi Wanyeki. You just go and type Zipi Wanyeki, you'll see me there. Just come to the inbox and let's talk and let's organize. Uh, in terms of uh, YouTube, my YouTube channel is Zipora Wanyeki. Mm -hmm. That is on YouTube. On Twitter, I am Wanyeki One Zipora. Mm -hmm. Wanyeki One Zipora. And um, I, I, we run a, an organization in counseling. So we are helping people. We are helping people. So if you have an issue, just reach out to us. We should be able to help you at an affordable rate. Okay. Yes, that is us. I think that's great mm. because you are full of great uh, knowledge in <laughs> this area. <laughs> we call it inner balance counseling. At inner balance counseling, uh -huh. we, we, we sort you out. We, we, we get to listen to you. There, there's a difference between counseling and therapy. There's somebody who would want to be going through counseling and there's someone who is going through therapy. therapy. So we could know which one and how Where many sessions you. we are to give you. Okay, great. Mm. Thank you very much. Once You're again. welcome. Uh, it was such a great session. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have known where you lie in your personality and the people that you associate, it's, you associate with. I hope you've placed them somewhere and uh, know how this 
can affect your mental well-being and even your overall well-being. This is where we take a short break, but we'll be coming up with a lot of entertainment. So this is the time where we get on to the Thursday vibes. Uh, Kalami Val will be staring that. So stick with us. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back.